What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace the brake pads on your 2014 Mercedes-Benz C250 Sport. Now, this will vary depending on the trim level that you have. So if you have the C300, the C350, or the C250, the process is still the same, but depending on the trim level that you have and the package that you have with your car, your rotors could be bigger or smaller, your brake pads and calipers could be bigger or smaller. So without further ado, let's get to the install. And we're back. So as you can tell, I already have the car jacked up on one side. And what I do as a safety precaution is put my tire underneath the car too, just in case the jack decides to randomly give out, but it shouldn't. So that's just a safety precaution I always do. And the, what you will need just to get to access to your brake pads inside the calipers is an 18 millimeter socket and wrench. And then you're gonna break those loose and then you'll have access to the brake pads. And these are the brake pads that I went with. Got these off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description down below. So that way you guys can replace your brake pads as well. It's a good quality and they're OEM. And I've also got a brake caliper spreader tool to make it a little bit easier as well. And I'll leave a link in the description for this as well. And this, this is what the tool looks like. So after you take the caliper off, you can take the brake pads out and this will help spread the piston. So that way it's easier to replace your brake pads. All right, so actually for the front calipers, you're gonna need a 13 millimeter. For the back, you're gonna need an 18 millimeter. Now I've already broken the top one off. So what you're gonna do is just go ahead and break those loose. And then you'll be able to access the caliper. All right, so I already took off the caliper so I can access the brake pads, which are right here. You also don't want to forget to take off your brake pad sensor. And the kit that I got came with everything, so it has the clips, it has the new sensors, it comes with the pads, all around. So that way you are good to go. And you don't want to forget to have something to support the caliper itself, so that way you're not putting tension on the brake line. As you can tell, these brake pads are still really good. So I might not need to replace these. I might just need to replace my back ones. But just as preventative maintenance, I think I'm going to keep these as a backup. But I'll replace everything so everything is nice and brand new. So these are the old ones. These are the new ones. And the new ones come with grease, a sensor for the front, and the clips. Alright, so the clips are on and they literally just clip like that. Slide that in right there. You'll hear that clip in. And what you'll want to do as well is you'll want to grease these components right here because the brake pad is going to be sliding back and forth in between this little groove, top and bottom. So you'll want to grease up this. You'll want to grease up the brake pads a little bit as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to grease up the clips. You're going to grease up the plates a little bit where just kind of everything slides into place. And then we'll get into depressing the piston. All right, so now we're getting to the caliper spreader tool. So what you're going to want to do is get it spread out just enough so that way it fits right inside the caliper. And then you'll obviously start slowly spreading that. Just like that and it'll slowly spread the piston back here so that way you can put your brand new brake pads 
and everything back on. And one thing you're going to want to do as well before you even do this is you want to release the cap for the brake fluid reservoir so that way you're not shooting brake fluid everywhere. So you want to just slowly do this and this is going to press that piston back in so that way you can put the caliper back on where the brake pads are and then before you do that you're going to want to grease up the piston because that is what is hitting the back plate. Well that's pretty much it guys. Don't forget to put on your brand new brake pad sensors. It plugs in right here and then this side will clip into one of the brake pads and then you're good to go. Now obviously the process is going to be the same for the rest of the car as well. Well there you have it guys. That should just about do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. The process for this is the same on all sides obviously I just did one side to show you guys how it's done I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please like comment and, sub and subscribe down below I would greatly appreciate it and I would love to hear from you guys I will also leave a link in the description for the brake pads and the caliper spreader tool and until next time peace